guys what is up and welcome to another video so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the ultimate titles pack by digital products 669 this pack comes with 10 different styles to choose from such as modern minimal kinetic broadcast vintage wedding slice retro and cartoon i have been using these packs for almost a week now they have been really helpful in conveying the message in a number of videos that i've made it's given my videos a sequential flow and their standout features allow the user to keep on track with what's going on in the video. It's really cool because you get over 200 different styles providing you with a huge variety. As you saw it's really flexible in terms of its ease of use. So these title packs can be used on Adobe Premiere Pro so in regards to importing these packs I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. In order for this to work, you would have to download a title pack which will come in a zip file and once you've extracted that zip file, you should be able to get two folders which look something like this. I'm going to show you guys how to add these titles into your graphics template region on Premiere Pro. You can either import them or just drag and drop these. But I'm going to show you guys both ways. So once you've got Premiere Pro open up, you're going to want to hit graphics right on top. And once that's open up, and to add those presets onto your essential graphics region what you're going to do is hit this little plus sign over here where it says install motion graphics template so you're going to want to click on the folder that has that has the motion graphic templates on there but the thing with importing the file using this method is that you can only import just one at a time so the way i would do it would be to go back to the folder and so i'm going to start with modern and I'm just going to highlight all of them and I'm just going to take them out, take them back to Premiere Pro and just pretty much drag and drop them here. It usually takes a couple of minutes for them to import so just do that for each category and that will save you a lot of time. But my one's already imported so I'm just going to type in TUTP, hit search and that's all of them, that's the different categories, that's broadcast, cartoon, kinetic, and a bunch of different ones so you've got kinetic minimal that's all of them right here so i'm going to start off by picking broadcast and that's right there so you just pretty much pick it up and drag and drop it so once you've got it on there just click on it and you should get all these options right here so so here you've got the duration where you can adjust how long you want your how long you want it to go for the max is a minute and you can pretty much adjust it to however long you may want it. You've got the title scale, so so if you want to make it bigger or smaller, which is pretty much down to you. So if you're going to be writing a few words, you can increase the width. So, that, so box width 1 is the first one, that's the second one, and that's the third one. So there's three boxes. And that allows you to adjust their size you've even got the box one scale so that's if you want to scale it up or down however you want it so it allows you to customize it to your own preference you can even adjust the box position you know if you want it more to the left or more to the right you know down to you however you want to style it um, you've got the text holder that's where you can modify the text so text one is usually right up there so that's ultimate so you can pretty much let's say um all right so i'm just gonna write my for the first one and then the second one would be film on travel so it's something like this so it allows you to write whatever you want you've even got the um different fonts available you can pretty much just select whichever font you like so that's that and in terms of color controls there's a bunch of different colors that you can pick from so you can pretty much customize it to your own color needs I tend to go for a black and white look but you can pretty much just customize it to whatever color so that's example number one all right so let's go with the minimal style so let's just drag and drop this right here so it usually comes with a background you even have the option to remove the background. This one I really like because you can... What I like to do with this is that I like to blur the video. I like to blur my video in the background. And put this on 
and put this at the front which is really cool and really really stands out and I really like that which looks really cool and it really stands out so for example I would often write Brian Visions right here and here you can adjust the width so depending on how wide you may want it to be so it's pretty much down to preference I like to lower it pretty much just so that it's all close together and when it comes to color control I tend to go for a black and white look because the background is black, so I'm just going to go for dark blue, I guess. So let's hit this. For the other text, I'm going to go for white. And for the outline of the box, so this one's purple, so I'm going to make it white. Oops. There we go. And if I want to change the background, but I'm going to leave the background. You can pretty much customize it to however you want and as I said there's different fonts available and you can also make it bold, italics, however you may want it to be. And also there's loads of them honestly, if I was to go through all of them this video will take ages. So um, I'll show you guys the different videos of where these title packs can be applied to. So um, let's check them out. So now that you've imported them, I'm going to show you guys how I plan ahead when it comes to using them. I would usually start off by getting my notepad and taking a good couple of minutes to plan out my videos beforehand. Planning ahead helps to enhance my productivity which is something I've always wanted to improve on. So in relation to the titles that I want to be adding throughout my video, I would often write them down and therefore I will not forget anything out like crediting the music artists or adding a title before a video. Also, it's good to have a list beforehand so that you are only left with choosing the preferred title style that you want to add to your videos when it comes to editing. In terms of pricing, I believe it comes at a price of $35, so if you guys are interested you can find the link in the description below and it will take you to the designated page. Overall, I would recommend this product, especially if you make a lot of content like I do, as it's helped make my life a lot easier while making your videos look clean, professional and appealing. Obviously this pack is not a necessity, but it's good to have them on deck for when they're needed. So this is it from me guys, I just want to end this video by thanking Digital Products 669 who's kindly sponsored this video, so big thanks to him. If you guys found this video useful, it would mean a lot if you can like, share and subscribe. But all in all, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll hopefully catch you guys on my next video.